is Colorado to go undefeated a worthwhile bet to make? I, I, Sammy, I know you probably feel strongly about that, right? You, you're, you, you made that bet already? I have not yet. You know, obviously we all know they're going to beat Oregon next week. The question is, are they going to beat and cover against Colorado State? The look-ahead number, boys and girls, for this game in Vegas was Colorado 10. We are now at Colorado 23, 23 and a half. And I, I, I feel like I must take the dog, but I, I also wouldn't be surprised if they won 38 to 10. So I, I think we saved this one here. Obviously, Oregon is a much bigger test, but yeah, this Colorado thing is crazy, and I think I might hate them. I might. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I think we need to get past though, like the look ahead lines with Colorado. Like we were all long, the priors were all wrong. I mean, I understand Nebraska had their chances last week, and Sims, I mean, did everything he could to give the game to Colorado. But I mean, this team is just way better than we thought. I mean, the, the receivers are real. There is obviously talent there. I mean, I do think there's still deficiencies along both lines, and there's going to be ways to play against them. There's going to be opportunities to play against them. Uh, I think Oregon next week is a really tough spot. But man, I, I don't know that I want to get in front of this team right now. I mean, that being said, that 23 is a lot of points. Um, you know, Colorado State did recruit Shadur Sanders. I don't know if there's bad blood there. I don't know how that factors into like, you know, <laughs> want to run up the score here. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I think for me, I'm hoping that Colorado State gets blown out. Colorado yes. comes in there. They win 45-10. And that Oregon look-ahead number right now is Oregon favored by 14 and a half. And that starts creeping down and down and down as people start betting Colorado. And we get a great number for Oregon. Uh, it'd be fantastic uh, to take them after they play Hawaii. They're back at home. Colorado goes back on the road after all this hype. And to me, that's the spot to take uh, someone else, was to take Oregon or even the following week, take USC going into Boulder. Uh, so I hope Colorado destroys Colorado State. I think they actually will in the end. It might start a little bit slower. And then we get a much better number for Oregon. That's the thing. I don't think normally this would be like, if we were any other team, if we were a normal team, this would be the ultimate play against spot. Because you have the 21 point upset win over, over TCU. You have your home opener where you beat Nebraska. Next week you have Oregon. Like this is like the the rotten stale sandwich game of all time for a normal team. But this is not a normal team. Like I don't think they're wired that way to be like, oh, yeah, we're just gonna go through the motions against Colorado State. I, I think they're out like to score points against anybody that they play. So it would not, like, like Sammy, I think, put it best. Like, this is not a train I want to get in front of right now, uh, especially um, at home and, and, and with Sanders and, and company wanting to put up a big number. But I think most smart betters, sharp betters, are waiting to see what happens this week, hoping, like Jeff said, for Colorado to win just to see what that number might be next week. Kidding aside, though, like, is there a bet still like, is there a bet out there that still might have value on Colorado? Cause I, I think the coach of the year market might uh, if, look, if they, go, if they go six and six, like he's got a shot to win coach of the other, you're going to get three this week. You got what Arizona still, you, you've got um, Stanford. Stanford who's been, I mean, Wazoo you might be able to beat There's, the Arizona state. You'd probably be like six and six or seven and five is on the table. I'm like, normally what it takes nine or 10 wins to be coach of the year. But if you go from one and 11 and just completely turn this team around and get to a bowl game, like he's live to win coach of the year, isn't he? Yeah, I certainly think so. I mean, and with coach of the year, we see these in, in all these markets, you know, the Sacramento Kings are bad forever. They're finally good. You reward the coach with coach of the year. We saw it with the giants with Dable, you know, a few years ago with Stefanski uh, in the Cleveland Browns. So yeah, if you can get to seven wins, that's probably the magic number right around there. Uh, and look bear, you and I both live in Connecticut. It's hard to find these markets. We can't even bet the Heisman. I don't think here. So you got to look around. Can't, can't they're, bet they're the Heisman, can't find, bet college but, football uh, playoff either frustrating Brutal. it's frustrating but it's a good bet what about though no, what about if penn state goes 11 and one let's have that conversation because that's possible look this quarterback drew aller might be the best quarterback in the big 10 and it's been a long time since we've been able to say that about a penn state quarterback i think that this kid is making all the throws and granted they haven't had like a really tough test yet they've beaten west virginia and delaware but you watch some of these dimes he's throwing <laughs> they are they are right on target he's throwing guys open and they have like three really good running backs behind a solid offensive line. And everybody talks about Michigan and Ohio state this year. If Penn state goes 11 and one, James Franklin's going to get a lot of love for the, for the best coach in college football. Well, he'll, he'll win that award if they go 11 and one, as you mentioned, and look, their offensive line is fantastic. I love watching them play. And they finally have a quarterback as, as you mentioned, they should have a tougher schedule, right? They're on that side of the big 10. When you have Michigan, you have Ohio state, you have Michigan state. It's a, it's a tougher road for them 
to, to go 11 and one. They got to win a lot of games that I don't think they've won in the past. But Franklin, he will 100% win this award if they finish as high as 11 and one. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.